All right, everyone, welcome back for another episode of Carnivore Trades. Today is Friday, September 10th, 2021. So markets rolling over again, um, almost similar price action as yesterday. Yesterday we had this uh, little rally in the morning, uh, faded that, a little bit of chop, kind of bearish consolidation, then another drop here uh, in the afternoon. Same thing today, uh, gapped up and then really just went straight down, had a nice bounce, hit the 50 MA, and now we're rolling over. So it'd be interesting to see if they try to pop this a little bit into the uh, close. Um, next week, we do have quad witching. So it looks like the games have started already. Um, and there's going to be a lot of games. Uh, we could look for uh, some type of 450 pin on the SPY. And that would mean that they would have to really hit volatility, which would really line up with what I'm, you know, with what I've been saying with uh, volatility needing to make another leg lower before I get in. But notice how the VIX is barely positive today. Uh, VXX uh, just cracked positive, but you know they've been hitting volatility. This just tells me this is call burning. Everybody's talking about Apple right now. Everybody's uh, it's oh Apple is going no bid and blah blah blah. It's like it's just call burning. And look at the look at the, how many calls they burned here. Notice how they're going to close it below 150. You think that's a number that people pick as a strike price? Yeah, 25,000 open interest, 75,000 here at 157.50. Both of these are expiring worthless now. So, you know, this, this market's really dictated by options in the, in the near term. And uh, that's just what, you know, how things are. Uh, you know, Google getting hit a little bit today too. Um, but, you know, again, all these stocks are in an uptrend. S&P is still in an uptrend. We may, you know, get a little bit of a close below the 20 MA, but, you know, until we get a real high volume sell-off, uh, this market, you know, can hold up. And uh, I said this earlier today, tweeted semis, making a new all-time high today. So that tells you this market's likely not to have a major sell-off. And we saw that with VXX being hit all day long. This is a classic OPEX burn trip trick that they use where they short the VXX and they short the spider at the same time to prevent the market from crashing and to allow the uh, market to, you know, head lower so that they can burn out calls without actually crashing the market. But some stocks doing well today. Uh, AMC um, up 5% here, had a no nice little consolidation. It's not taking GME with it, but uh, GME had a nice day yesterday after earnings and a uh, nice little pause retrace here. So, um, you know, GME may have a run another run in it. Clover, again, uh, just retracing this move. So meme stocks look like they, you know, may not be done yet. Um, some sectors that are looking interesting to me, though, are um, cannabis. Some of these cannabis stocks are getting close to support here. There's MJ there. Uh, CGC's got a nice level around 14, 14.50. So this one's um, maybe coming into support. And we have Aurora next week with earnings, too. So that should be interesting. Or if they, um, it may not be till the end of the month with Aurora, but uh, they have earnings coming up also. But, um, yeah, the, ultimately, this looks like an OPEX type of burn here as far as the broad market is concerned dollar having a decent day though uh pulled back a little bit still held this trend line and um you're now back above this major one here um so dollar just kind of hanging in there for now and yields had a uh, nice day today as well but um again just kind of inside this choppy range here and um you know again we're looking for one more leg lower there um before that gets interesting um financials had an, a decent rollover as well jp morgan gapped up uh, and then sold off. Wells Fargo, same thing. This is one that I may be looking to short soon, so uh, stay tuned for that. But, um, you know, overall, just kind of a choppy, sloppy day here. And, you know, I see Apple kind of getting a little bit of a bid here, but I, I think they close that below 150 to burn out those 150 calls. And uh, S&P here, now to the 447.50 handle. So, yeah, continuing to roll over. We'll see if they pop this off the lows before the end of the day, though. Um, by... I am expecting some serious volatility next week. Not to say that uh, the market's going lower, but volatility as in choppy action. Um, especially, you know, you generally get that with a quad witch. The last time we had a quad witch was back in June, which was right here. Um, that was when gold got really hit hard. Um, there was a lot of things that got pushed around big time. There's lots of rumors and lots of things going on like that. But anyways, uh, I'm just going to wrap it up here. Uh, we'll see where the market closes and... Uh, yeah, we'll see if they get Apple below that 150. They should do that. But um, yeah, anyways, guys, take care. Um, be ready for next week. There's going to be a lot of volatility going on. There's going to be a lot of uh, rumors and a lot of game playing. So uh, just be on guard for that. But anyways, take care, and I will talk to you next week.